players. Yeah. Orange shirt playing the Puff, I believe. Well, he remains Puff. I'm yeah. assuming as he will probably be playing this matchup. Bozo the Fox, I'm not sure who he plays. Uh, maybe Fox. I'm uh, guessing, lucky guess. a name like Bozo the Fox, you know? <laughs> Hopefully a Fox. I'm not so sure. <laughs> It'd be crazy if he picks Falco. <laughs> yeah, picks Falco. Um, if that is the case, this will be a tough matchup for Puff. But um, not unwinnable. But oh yes, and it does seem like it's a thing. Looking ahead here. You stay striking right now. Let's see. Um, uh, like Dreamland. Dream all right. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, Dreamland 64. And it is Fox Puff. So let's see how this goes. For game one, this is an interesting pick. I mean, I would think that the Fox would probably want to strike Dreamland away, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, though, this is a very difficult matchup for Jiggly Puff. Um, she's really light. She dies very easily from a lot of Fox's moves. And Fox has a myriad of moves that can actually kill her. Up throw, up air works. Really efficient way. Also, you know, things like jab, up, smash. Um, Puff pretty much has to rely on Fox making mistakes and getting really good edge guards for rest setups. However, an agile Fox is, can be really tough to grab. So, set up here, Brandon can use those back throws to really get quite a lot of um, edge guard opportunities as long as the box is kind of close to the edge of the stage. Nice clean backer. Um, a little bit of neutral game right now. This so, fox is using lasers. Yeah, this fox is using lasers. I guess unlike the last one, he's doing some dash dances, probably trying to fish for an up smash. Um, Brandon doesn't bite. And Brennan kind of playing defensively. He's a very defensive style Puff, which I like because for Puff in this matchup, patience is a virtue. Although, um, when playing behind, that can change pretty fast. So, uh, Bozo seems to be kind of fishing for up smashes, but ooh, he gets pretty much baited into a grab, and that leads to a conversion for Brandon taking the first stock. Um, also, Brandon is at is you know above 100%, so it's going to be impossible for Fox to use the up throw up air combo. So his efficient ways of killing Puff for free are now more or less eliminated. He's kind of just got to get a stray back air, you know, stray up tilt, up smash, but those are really tough to get. And so Puff at this point, any damage she can get is free, but if she can go for a rest, that's incredible for her. Oh, and he oh, does go for up for a rest. And he, he him, pays it. for it. However, Severely. thankfully for him, um, that is only his first stock, so him missing it isn't a huge deal. You know, he was at 150%, he was going to die soon anyway. The key now, though, is to, you know, keep this game even or, you know, get a lead, of course. Um, yeah. The Fox seems to be fishing a lot of up smashes at percents where they don't, okay. they won't necessarily yeah. kill. I do like the upper up there. And oh, that up smash will up not smash. kill. Dreamland will let Puffs live to see another few seconds. Oh, oh well, all the DI another few in seconds. the world could not help that one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely not even Dreamland could help. So Brennan's down, so at this point he can go for a rest right now and it will be fairly safe. Fox won't be able to come back and punish it. But, you know, at this point, um, the defensive. Do you know if anyone brought a Smash 4 setup? Uh, someone in the corner, I think, had it, but he might be gone now. All right, oh, okay, so it's back even. This is oh, it's, that, is that a computer? Just like you got a computer set up? Or yeah. Or you, okay. This is anyway, strange. um, yeah. So anyway, um, we're doing commentary. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, so we are back at two stocks apiece. Sorry for the brief kind of uh, interruption. Yeah. This Vaughn seems to kind of fish for up smashes a lot, but he does seem to know that he can use his lasers, and I like it. Um, however, Fox's lasers aren't that effective if Puff crouches. Still, though, this puts Puff in a bad spot because it means that, you know, she can't actually approach him while he's shooting, so he just, just kind of has some luck. And Puff, at this percent, has to be really careful. Fox can crouch cancel a lot of her options, and um, up smash kills it. Yeah. Percents like that. <laughs> so Brandon's down to his last stock. Um... At this point, honestly, um, Bozo can just sort of camp it out with lasers, and he, he should be fine. Once he gets puffed to around, you know, 60%, yes, the rest is off the table for her as well. If she rests at this point, um, Fox might be able to come back and kill her, so... It's gonna be tough. Um, Brandon gets it back there, wasn't able to capitalize, and now he's really close to death. In a very bad, 
very bad spot. Yeah, this is not looking good. Um. Okay, so if I was the fox right now, and you know, being a fox man, honestly, I would just camp it out. Camping it out with lasers is perfectly fine. I mean, you know, he has nothing to lose from it. He's up a stock. And okay, missed up there up there. And a shine. Okay, oh, and he it is reads over. the movement. Sometimes that's really key in this matchup for Fox is being able to. <laughs> is that a real computer? Yeah, sometimes that's really key for Fox though in this matchup is reading Puff's aerial movement with um. Reading Puff's aerial movement with his attacks. So for game two, it seems like. It seems like Brandon is counter picking to FD. Hmm. I do not know what I think of this choice because FD in this matchup can be kind of rough with Puff. Um, yeah, a guy like walked up and was just like, "Is that a computer?" I know, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, this this matchup. I don't know about the stage pick from Brandon. Honestly, this stage just isn't great for Puff because the thing is, Fox has all the room in the world to camp her with lasers, and you know Fox she and Fox is. Fox is very fast. If he oh. wants, he can just run to the other side, camp, and I mean, you know, so that's kind of bad. So he got him down by one, and he has still four stops with, no, a, with no damage. And on a stage like this, you know, it it's going to be a tough one. I don't know that necessarily agree with this pick, and it seems like he's kind of regretting this decision already. Um, if I was the Puff, I would have either struck back to Dreamland or maybe just gone to Found the Dreams. You know, both are really great. Really great uh, choices for this. Uh, Fox has not lost his stock, and at this point, he could either you know shamelessly camp, or you know just he can do what he wants at this point. Rest is off the table for Puff. I mean, she can get it now, and she won't die. But if Fox continues playing the way he is, it's not a good look. Definitely, just don't really agree with the final destination pick. Puff has trouble actually getting in on Fox, and this Fox's movement is getting faster and faster. And yeah. I would have gone for it. Yeah. Oh, and he so, finally takes him down one. So he takes down the first stock. The thing is, though, at this point, ooh, ooh, up the rocker nearly killing. See, and now he can fish for up smashes because that, yeah, ew, this is getting rough. So Brennan's down to his last stock. I hope that he will be able to like pull something out. I mean, I'm not really sure. It's 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 not a good look right now. A rest won't necessarily save him, but it will help. Oh, oh that's helpful. Okay. Yes, that helps. So Alrighty. The thing is, though. Oh, yes, and the fox missed the punish. Um, this still isn't great for Puff though, because. If she can get another rest right now, okay, now she can. She's at that percent where if she gets a rest and Fox kills her, or if Fox comes back, he can just easily kill her. So not really a good look. And Puff at this percent, up throw up her will close the match. Uh, that is unfortunate. Um, <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um, I don't. Yeah, I mean, like, what could have been a pretty close set ended up being a little bit weird. Just because I don't really like the FD pick. Vox doesn't necessarily beat every character on FD, but... Again